Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're out here on the beach again for another top 10 list. I was really inspired by this insane heat wave that we've been having lately to do a top 10. Fragrances that are amazing for the high heat. Fragrances that when you wear them in these like record breaking crazy temperatures, they'll make you feel refreshed. They'll make you feel like cooled off a little bit. At least hopefully it will give you a little relief and just fragrances that will make you smell very clean. They're all fragrances that work amazing in the heat. So let's jump into it, shall we? With, of course, this is just one that I have not been able to stop talking about. And I know that you guys have been loving it too because I've been seeing your comments. Gian Tonic by Mika Leff. Now this is probably one of the most invigorating scents on this list. This is definitely one that is just so perfect for the heat. It's such a fresh, minty, boozy kind of scent. It's more of a very fresh take on a boozy scent profile. Very, very refreshing for this hot weather. It's so good. It's almost like an extinguisher in this heat. It's really crazy. It's very airy and spicy with tonic water and ginger with a really nice spicy mint note. There's some florals in this as well and some woods and some musk. Not the most dominant in the florals. It comes through a little tiny bit. What you really truly get is just that beautiful gin tonic smell with that mint and that ginger kind of gives it this zesty zinginess. There's a little bit of lime too that adds to that kind of zesty feel too. Really just bright and crisp. It's more of a light effervescent kind of boozy scent not like your typical heavy rum, you know, cognac kind of scent profile, a little bit different. So if you're a fan of those kind of scents, you like boozy scents, but you want one that is perfect for the summer, Mikalef G and Tonic. You can't go wrong with, everyone is going crazy over this scent. I know that a lot of my viewers have it as well, and you guys have just been loving it. Definitely worth trying out for the heat, which does not seem to be going away anytime soon, sadly. This one is a huge love for me. I love, it has this very, realistic fizzy component that just makes it so intoxicating literally so intoxicating it is just fantastic so next we have a designer that i got in the mail i went out and bought this and i was so blown away by this scent i was not expecting much because it's a flanker of a scent that i guess is kind of known in the fragrance community as just a scent that gets it done it's not anything special there's nothing really stands out about it it's an aventus clone or in inspired by Aventus. I don't think it is anywhere near as good as Aventus, but the new flanker of Mont Blanc Explorer Platinum blew my mind when I smelled this for the first time. I was not expecting something so good to come from Mont Blanc's Explorer line. It doesn't really have a lot of relation to the original Explorer as you would expect. It's a very happy perfume, very uplifting, but a much richer scent profile than the normal OG Explorer. There's something very elegant and refined about this and there's, even something kind of green and minty in the background of this as well. There's violet leaves, we got clary sage and cedarwood. It's a very simplistic fragrance, but the violet adds so much to this. It really adds a very luxurious touch to this scent profile. It's very, very modern smelling too. And it's a little different than every other designer that I've smelled recently. I really, really enjoy this one. I was really surprised by it. It's a really elevated designer fragrance that is just going to add so much to any occasion, every day outfit this one is just any designer on list and the price point of this is very good too i do appreciate that about mont blanc the prices are all very good it kind of has very subtle coconut vibes too as it dries kind of like in Le Beau, but it's definitely not as tropical as Le Beau. it's definitely very fresh there is a little bit of sweetness in the mid too very fresh and clean but very very elegant i my mind is blown by this i am just applause to you mont blanc for this 10 out of 10 2023 flanker Mont Blanc Explorer Platinum. So next we have a fragrance from the house of Paris Monte Carlo, Cedro di Diamante. This was something that I received in the mail really unexpectedly. I wasn't expecting any packages or anything. I had never smelled this one before and based off the name, I was expecting something darker, woodier. But when I smelled this, my first thought was this is going to be a 
fantastic addition for summer. Just fantastic. Unisex as well, this is definitely something that I would wear too. It's a very well done, very strong citrus-based fragrance, a lot of like lemon, bergamot. There's a pretty strong lemon verbena vibe in this as well. With some spice, I know there's ginger in here, there's cardamom. Anytime you add cardamom to a fragrance, it just adds the most beautiful touch. And doing it in a way that is so appropriate for the high heat is just fantastic. There's some pepper in here, some oak moss. It's a little musky and there's a really, really beautiful iris note too. Iris also is just something that you add to a fragrance and it just adds this world of luxury. It's just really, really well done. I was really surprised by this one and testing it out on my skin, it does have very good longevity. It is a citrus based fragrance. It's not gonna be like a beast mode, but it does work really, really well. And there is kind of like a green minty vibe here too. I think it's from the Verbena. If you like things like 4711, you'll really enjoy this, but you want something that's a lot stronger, definitely check out Cedro by Paris Monte Carlo. So the next one on my list, I don't think a lot of you guys might see coming, but it is my favorite from the line. This is Versace Eros Parfum. Now I will say a little disclaimer that I do actually in the Eros line, my actual favorite is the Flame Flanker, but it's not really related to this line. So the Parfum is just my favorite out of the Eros line. And it is a fragrance line that is it's literally raining. Where is the rain cloud? There is no rain cloud and it's raining. What? It is a line that is beloved by many, hated by many as well. It seems to be a very polarizing fragrance, but I personally really enjoy the Parfum. There's just something about Eros that drives women crazy. Anytime I've had a woman smell Versace Eros, they just, they adore it. I think it has something to do with that vanilla and broxin combination that just drives women crazy. And this one is definitely no exception with an amazing touch of freshness. There's mint, there's apple, lemon, some orange. There's some florals with geranium as well. With clary sage, vanilla, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, and a touch of leather too. But overall, the mint and the abroxin in this really gives it an amazing freshness. It's just going to smell fantastic in the high heat. Probably the best for the high heat of the Eros, in my opinion, and the best smelling too. And it's a great price point. They haven't bumped up their prices too high. They're typically considered to be a more affordable fragrance house, so I really appreciate that. And the quality of this is really, really good. And women go nuts for Versace Eros Parfum. So while we're on the trend of minty fragrances, we have Sedley by Parfums de Marly. This is another one that I've just gone on and on and on about. It's one of my favorites from Parfums de Marly aside from Haltane, but for the hot weather, Sedley is definitely one to wear. It is just fantastic. And this is one that I've always said kind of has like this very rich, <laughs> like trust fun baby vibe to it for sure. It's more of a refined mint fragrance too. A little more put together, a little more elegant than Versace Eros Parfum would be. Definitely not as sweet as the Versace Eros Parfum either. There's a very natural sweetness to this. It's a very beloved summer fragrance by Parfum Somali. I know that a lot of my viewers just adore Sedley and for a very good reason. It is just amazing for the summer and especially on those 100 degree plus days it's just wild here i cannot believe that we've been having like real feels of 125 it's just nuts it's freaking crazy the direction that the weather's going but luckily we have some amazing fragrances to keep us nice and cool there's a lot of orange in here as well that adds some a little bit of sweetness it's very very natural smelling very earthy and aromatic very very pleasant this is an amazing amazing signature summer scent it is a little pricey you can get it on discounters for less but it is worth every penny it is so good it performs so well for this type of scent profile as well you get some beastly performance it is just amazing drives women nuts too one of my favorites for men sedley by parfums de marley mm, it's delicious it smells like summer vacation in greece it's amazing. Just like that, the rain has stopped. <laughs> We're definitely in Florida, guys. So next we have another fragrance by the house of Mont Blanc. This is a fragrance that I found at TJ Maxx for $30 and was just like, it was a blind buy and I was like, wow, for $30, this is a total banger. This is Legend Red. Amazing underrated designer. There's so much sweetness here, but it's not in a overdone type of way. So the nose, we have Blood Orange, a really nice, crisp, very realistic blood orange with grapefruit. We have that cardamom note again with some cedar, clary sage, some juniper berries as well. Atlas cedar, mahogany, another just amazing note to add a lot of rich touches to a fragrance and tonka bean. It's a very creamy tonka 
cardamom scent with a lot of that freshness in the top with the fruitiness with that blood orange and the grapefruit. This is one that is just super, super versatile, very breezy and light. Definitely one that you could pull off in many different occasions, just daytime. You could dress it up for a date night. It's a really, really good budget-friendly option for the high heat. Mont Blanc Legend Red. So next we have one that I recently discovered by Aaron Terrence Hughes and his Discovery set, and this one is Ozone. And this is one that really, really stood out to me in the Discovery set. Not only because I think that it's very unisex, probably one of the most unisex in his whole collection, at least from what I smelled, but this is one that is a little more light and airy. There's a very modern feel to this, but it opens with a lot of lime. There's kind of like this aldehydic, kind of aldehyde vibe in this, but it really adds to this modern vibe of this fragrance. I adore this one. There's a very strong coconut note, and I think that this is really a perfect coconut fragrance. If you're a man and you want something, a coconut fragrance, that doesn't lean necessarily feminine, something that's right there, 100% unisex, this is definitely the one for you. There is a very strong ambergris vibe in this as well. I wouldn't say it's really oceanic. It's not necessarily aquatic. It's more like you're right here, you're sitting on the beach and you can smell the ocean. That is really the vibe that I get from it. You're here with the palms and you can't really smell the coconuts <laughs> from the palm trees, but it's that kind of picture in your mind. It's just something that I was very, very impressed with in the Discovery set. Probably my favorite in terms of wearing something for myself from him, but this works beautifully on a man and I just wanted to include it because I know that I've gotten a lot of questions from my viewers, some of my male viewers asking about coconut scents and this one is amazing. The price point is amazing as well and Aaron Terrence Hughes has this amazing, masterful, almost like genius way of blending his fragrances that are just so good, mass appealing, modern and unique. Like this does not smell like anything else on the market and if you get this, this B. <laughs> you are going to smell so different than everyone else and you're going to smell amazing. Ozone by Aaron Terrence Hughes. Okay, so we got two more and the next one that we have is Aqua Di Joe Eau de Parfum. This is another one that I've spoken about quite a few times and this is really one that is just good for smelling very fresh and clean. Like sometimes I feel like when you get really hot and sweaty, like I'm kind of starting to feel now, you kind of feel a little musky, right? It's like you want something to kind of just refresh yourself. This is the perfect fragrance for that because this is fresh and clean in a way that isn't soapy. It's like a fresh, beautiful, soft, clean linen. Very nice, kind of like a luxury hotel kind of vibe, kind of like a spa linen, very fresh, very clean. And it's just something that is very easy to grab. Really nice to like take with you as well, just to spray on. And this is one that you can just drown yourself in and it won't be overwhelming. So it's for the people out there that want something that's a little more toned down, but something that is just very refreshing, very clean, but not in a soapy way. Aqua Di Jo Eau de Parfum, one of my favorites from the Aqua Di Jo line. Okay, so the last one that I have on this list is a little counterintuitive. This is not one that you might think to grab in the very hot, high heat, but it works beautifully in the summer. It works amazing for some reason in the air, in the hot air. The sillage of this fragrance is just, it's a lady killer. It's so sexy. It's another boozy take, but more in that traditional way. You guys know I'm obsessed with this fragrance. Apple Brandy on the rocks, another just gigantic love for me this on a man is just one of the sexiest things on earth this is one of this is the smartest move you can make if you're looking to get ladies guys apple brandy on the rocks forget about angel share it's very good but apple brandy on the rocks is even better and there's something about this it's that combination of the on the rocks that kind of like clinky sparkling effervescent aspect to this that makes it work very well in the heat it's very fruity too there's a pineapple note that really freshens it up as well very boozy very fresh and gourmand too it's such a sexy perfume we have apple we have rum we have brandy of course with that pineapple vanilla a lot of inboxing in this too that makes it perform really well in the heat and last a very long time this one is beastly it's addicting, it's so good. Embroxin and cedar too, the pineapple in this brings so much happiness to the fragrance, so much sweetness, so yummy and boozy. In the air, it leaves the most addictive scent trail. This will literally have, you will be pulling people behind you with the scent trail on this. It is just the most addictive, amazing, sexy fragrance in the air and it performs so well. Once again, a little pricey, but you can find it sometimes on discount and it is a huge performer, which 
in turn makes it a huge compliment getter. Anytime you wear this, any occasion, any place, you are going to win with this fragrance. I literally can't say enough good things about it. You guys just need to get out there and try it. It's very accessible. Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian. So yeah, guys, that is my top 10, my favorite fresh fragrances for this high heat. Fragrances that are just going to give you some relief. I'm already starting to sweat being out here. It's like seven in the morning and it's already getting so hot. So I'm going to be applying some fragrance very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment below what you think about my picks. What is your favorite fragrance to wear in the high heat? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.